I'm trying a new fold and I'm going to do a number of towels in this fold and it's supposed to end up to be a real nice medallion with very colorful uh, lines in it. So um, we'll see what happens with the folds. I'm not going to show all the folds. I'm just going to show how I fold it and then I'm going to move on from there. Basically, if you remember making, making play, paper planes when you were a child, very similar. This is the center. Now, uh -oh. a little bit of dye on the counter, but I wiped it down. All right, so there's that. Now, once I do that, I'm going to use sinew because I want white lines to show. And I'm going to do basically folds that are kind of going along that, that route. So there's one of them. And what I'll do is I'm going to um, do ice dye on them. And then once I get them all done, I'll have a presentation of all of them. I'm not going to show all the folds because that would be a, a whole lot. <laughs> all right, so there's one. All right, lately I have been working on uh, medallion folds. I did a number of cows because I wanted to see what just colors, different color combinations, um, different uh, amount of colors, or the, the difference in, in what I use uh, works. So um, in the pile here, I have a number of them. Uh, these are the ones I first started with. So I only used like three colors on, on a couple of these. And there's another. Here again, I'm only using a few colors. And it's the color combinations that's creating the additional colors which I thought was kind of interesting. So here I'm starting to use um, uh, more colors. Uh, so I'm, I'm not just sticking to two or three colors. I'm actually using four to six colors. And so here's what uh, they're looking like. What you think? They're actually very pretty. They're turning out much better than what I anticipated. I really like the way that it's uh, blending colors. And these are from the start to the finish. So I'm still kind of getting used to my color combinations and what I can do. This one is probably one of my very favorites right here. I just like the colors. I love the way this turned out. Yes, I have quite a few of them. But I've been enjoying doing these. And they don't take me extremely long. And I just really liked seeing um, the surprise when I when I wash them out. Those were the last batches. This one's unusual. I didn't expect this. And I think when I folded this, I folded it 
This is basically the type of fold that you're looking at. So you can see how the colors are lining up. See how the colors line up? So basically, I did a tie here, I did a tie here, I did a tie here, and another one here. And then I just applied colors. And that's what it came out. Now, as a last minute test, I did a shirt. And while I like the overall design of the shirt, I'm going to try it again. I shouldn't have used yellow in the middle because I don't think I want a yellow dot right in the middle of my chest um, or my back because it's, this is actually a two-sided. But I think I'm going to try this because I really like the colors. The colors are very pretty on this. Um, so I think I'm going to try this again. But I'm going to try to put two of these, like one here and then one down there. Um, but that's going to take a little bit of finessing. All right, so give me your thoughts. I want to hear.